Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into The Punisher Season 2, Episode 11. Yes, we are getting closer and closer to the inevitable season finale. And that concludes all of The Punisher so far as we know of. Now, again, I'm really liking this season. I'm going to keep saying this. I really, I, I, I admire the new take that they're going with. And I love, I loved like the, the, the past, pre, the previous couple of episodes because of just the endings to them. And obviously Billy Russo now being like one of my most anticipated characters, whenever I see him on the screen, I'm just like, oh, this is going to be great. And he's just been like flooring it. Like I've loved it. He's, his foot's been like on the pedal ever since he was introduced again in season two. And season one still has a special place in my heart. I still personally like that more. Um, however, it's really nice seeing some of the gems from season one bounce into season two. For example, with how they're telling the story from the A plot and the B plot and kind of like inner looting the two and mixing them and just kind of giving us a really different experience to just uh, storytelling, uh, narrative storytelling in general. And I definitely appreciate that. I think that's really cool. But always, like, I mean, come on now. Like, it's a Punisher. So the fight scenes, the choreography, the carnage is just so addicting. <laughs> I probably sound like a psychopath, but, like, that's basically how it feels, you know? Like, it really puts you in the shoes of Frank Castle. And I think they do an excellent job at the immersion that they kind of bring along with the show. But, like always, guys, if you want to stay ahead or, you know, Let's say, for instance, you want to be a couple weeks or months in front of the YouTube schedule. Definitely check out the Patreon link below. Not only will you be able to have an awesome community, but you'll have early access and voting polls and all that good stuff. And it really does help out this channel as well as leaving a like comment. And if you have not subscribed yet, definitely do so. It really does help out this channel and just grows the community even further. So um, I appreciate all the little efforts that are done here and there and I just wanted to say my thanks to that but like always guys you know the drill let me stop talking let's hop right into season 2 episode 11 of The Punisher it's in my pocket, yeah I think we left off with uh, basically you know The Punisher kind of killing innocent people or what looks to be him killing innocent people, and that basically destroyed his everything. I don't know. Well, you must know something. I know I killed a man. He shot others. That's what I know. Yeah, that's right. Curtis did. Damn, he really did accidentally. Well, he didn't accidentally, but he tried to save that person, and his life slipped right out of his hands. Meanwhile, this priest is like, you know, in Hangover Part 4. <laughs> this dude's just having a blast from, you know, straying away from God. <laughs> Are we? Uh -uh. John. Oh, no, God. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Jesus, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh jeez. That's that's terrible. That's terrible. Cuz like the last thing she said that she wanted before she left this world is to hear his voice and he wasn't there to pick up the phone. Instead, he was like basically cheating on his wife. Oh my god, and killing people. Now, I am sure that your co-workers at the precinct would not appreciate that now, would they? No, I guess not. Yo, Karen. <laughs> Yo, no matter what season she's in, she's always trying to scheme. She's like a cat. Maybe I could help. Dang. Yeah, you're not going to fix this. It's crazy because, you know, he's in the hospital with PTSD the same way that you know, Billy Russo was in the hospital with that as well, too. Billy Russo definitely got him, that's for sure. Jeez. Come with me. 
Yo, he's playing such a phenomenal role in this season, and I'm so happy because I remember him from season one of Daredevil. He's doing such an excellent job. Hey! hey. God. She's okay. God, dude. What's Jesus, up? man. I'm not gonna lie, that spooked the crap out of me. I didn't, like, physically showcase I was shocked, but, like, my insides were like, <laughs> God. Wow. That was that was rough. He's just like, you know, what they think about with my bullets, my bullshit when it when they ripped right through them and ended everything they had. You know what? Oh my god, dude. You know they're sick. Oh god. This show is rough. Like it, it's it's so honest with its brutality, man. It does not stray away. Physically and verbally. The imagery of that was just intense. Everything. Mary Morrison. Oh, gotcha. So, Sky, is he uh, dangerous or something? This dude's just having a bad day, He's man. He's just letting everyone who's unauthorized through. <laughs> okay, who's they? They is every hitman in New York. There's a five million dollar bounty on our heads, and that's pretty easy to collect with you cut to a bed. Oh my god, there is so much bullcrap that's going on here. <laughs> well, you gonna visit him every day? visited me oh my god dude billy's so a I beast dude <laughs> billy is a beast he's petty as hell but he's about it though <laughs> that's the crazy part how it goes i win frank i win oh my god dude <laughs> and then you got her the mastermind behind it all basically you make me happy For a second there, I don't know why. I just thought he was going to, like, snap her neck. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's just, just me. But, like, I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, I am curious to see how he's going to be tied into everything. I mean, once he finds out that his wife is gone, I mean... Like, what... He's gonna be, like, on a killing spree. Yikes. Yikes, man. Dang, he kinda has nothing now. He's back to square one, and last night he was just wasting it away. Russo killed them. Yeah. Looks to me, someone stood right in front of because I was wondering, how did Frank... Kill them. I knew it was probably a setup because Frank was down. He, he, he was like a whole level down, shooting up. And their wounds were in front. That's cold blooded, man. That's a cold blooded scene right there. Oh, God, what the heck? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> what the heck, man? What? 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 What was the deal? What was the deal with that? Like, like, what did they agree on? Two tours of Vietnam. And afterwards, he struggled. All right, we're finally getting some form of background about her character, you know? If he can't have me. And neither could she. God, dude. Oh my God. Yo, these stories are insane. These stories are absolutely insane. What? Scars and I have my memories. Rebecca was like a daughter to me. This episode, everybody's just getting wrecked. Everyone is just getting emotionally wrecked right now. I'm honestly surprised he he is kind of you know having that mindset, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, this is terrible. This is terrible. 
And Matt Murdock. Does he know you're here? Ah, he said it. He said it. He said it, man. Come on. I want to say, I want to, I want to see him. I want to see Matt, damn it. <laughs> you just, yeah. I'm almost jealous. Unbelievable. But, uh, do you mind if we continue this heart to heart once we're out of here? Unbelievable, man. You guys keep saying it. Oh man, Frankie Karen, Frankie Karen. Well, there you go. All right. There you go. I still think of them as, you know, well, I shouldn't say that now because they're more than just like a father and daughter now, but you get the gist. Ah, smart. Incredibly smart. I was wondering if that's what they did. And they did exactly that. That's kind of, that's really smart. Shout out to Frank for always walking, though, after getting completely demolished. Gave him away for a worthy cause. <laughs> Yo, they're always making this guy's job so much harder. <laughs> uh... Good luck, Frank. I'm happy that all he wanted was her shoes, though. You know, it's still hella weird, but like, I'm happy it wasn't anything creepy. Dang. All right, and that wraps up that episode. All right, everybody, and that wraps up episode 11 of The Punisher. And yeah, uh, there's a lot happening. There was a lot of emotional chaos in this episode, for sure. Everybody's going through some crazy trauma. <laughs> like the priest's, um, the priest's uh, wife dying, Castle, you know, going through that PTSD of him thinking that he killed those three women. And then, um, you know, obviously just like, basically a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, Curtis going through his own sort of trauma as well too, when, you know, he basically killed that guy. So there's a lot going on, but I still have a feeling that Curtis is going to, you know, play a role in this. But I wouldn't, you know, blame him for stepping out now, to be quite honest with you, because Frank does bring a, a, a walking nuclear explosion of just pure chaos everywhere he walks, even when he doesn't try to. And that's unfortunate, but I'm really happy that he's out. I'm really happy that he doesn't, you know, feel as though he killed those women but it's going to be interesting seeing how this goes forward especially with the priest now it's interesting the priest i'm i'm very uh I, I was shocked to see him you know kind of just accept that frank castle castle is to blame you know uh, i was kind of hoping that like somehow he kind of just reversed the script or maybe he just becomes a loose cannon, a cannon and just like, you know, goes after everybody. Who knows? But basically, yeah, I'm really excited to see what the next episode brings forth. So for all my Patreon people, I will see you over there. But for everyone else, stay healthy, stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the backseat